It was the worst naval accident in 40 years. The USS Fitzgerald sliced open by a massive cargo ship off Japan. This never before seen video shows the cargo ship pulling away after the crash. The $1.8 billion destroyer spinning out of control. Seven sailors killed. Two months later, another collision involving the USS John McCain. Ten sailors killed. Both captains relieved of command. Three and four-star admirals fired. Now, a ProPublica investigation finds the Navy had ignored warnings, postponing critical training and repairs. Both ships were being pushed past their capacity, run ragged, crews were exhausted, their equipment wasn't working right, or they didn't know how to use it. The Fitzgerald's radar system unable to see all the other ships nearby. With the captain sleeping, officers on duty didn't understand the nautical rules of the road, including the young officer in charge who steered the Fitz directly into the path of the cargo ship. The helmsman had never before touched the navigational controls. The crash happened at 1.30 a.m. with water quickly filling the crew's sleeping quarters. Darrell Martin's son, Xavier, was among the seven sailors who drowned. I'm so angry because, you know, my kid didn't make it. He didn't make it for something senseless as that. We have to find the balance between pushing our ships and our fleets hard to accomplish missions, but also finding time to rest our sailors and fix our equipment. The Navy's own investigation led to an in-depth report. It says it's implemented changes to ensure these types of accidents don't happen again. But just yesterday, two more Navy ships collided off the coast of Florida. No one was injured. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.